The longer a war drags on, the greater the push for innovative tech to drive results on the battlefield. The First World War gave us tanks, the Second World War, the atomic bomb. Today, the world is witnessing two major wars, Israel's war in Gaza and Russia's invasion in Ukraine, and artificial intelligence has entered both these battlefields. AI is being used by the soldiers fighting these wars. Or you could say, AI is the new soldier in these wars. Israel's AI soldier is called Lavender. It's a killing machine. It spits out lists of targets, individuals suspected of terrorism. Lavender creates these lists for the IDF, that is the Israeli Defense Force. According to one report, the IDF used Lavender to make a list, and it did, with some 37,000 Palestinians on it. They were labeled as suspected Hamas militants. So the AI system identified these people for the IDF and then the, the soldiers simply went after the people on the list. No questions asked. Typically in operations like these, militaries take their time. They follow multiple steps before going on a bombing spree, like resorting to human intelligence, a source on the ground who can identify and track a suspect. The next step is to seek solid evidence, clear proof of involvement in terrorist activities. And once they have this proof, idly from multiple sources, they give orders to neutralize the suspect. But Israel seems to be relying completely on lavender. It has basically taken over their intelligence gathering process. Once it marks someone as a target, their fate is sealed. There is little human intervention, no verification or scrutiny of the raw intelligence from Lavender, even when the system is known to commit mistakes. Lavender has an error rate of 10%. So on a list of, say, 100 targets, 10 names could be wrong, meaning innocent people could be branded terrorists and killed because a machine pointed at them. Is the idea of checking these things? Well, it denies using the system altogether. Israel says it is not using AI to lock targets. But another report challenges this claim. It's from December last year. It says Israel's military has an AI unit that runs a secret facility and churns out kill lists like a factory production line. We've not been able to verify either claim. Palestinians, though, have sought international intervention to stop Israel. Over the past five months, Israel has 